Many Indians understandably proudly claim that whatever is in modern science is already in the Vedas. There are no dot of presentations on this subject on the social media. Of course, a reasonable counter to this would be, why is it that only when modern science invents a new technology that Indians say that it is already in the Vedas? Why can't the Indians bring out a science or technology based on Vedic knowledge before modern scientists come up with it? I remember going to a cosmology conference in Bangalore where someone at the conference quoted from Rig Veda to show that the E by M ratio, that is the charge to the mass ratio of the electron, is already given in the Rig Veda. This person even quoted a sloka from Rig Veda, which provided the E by M ratio, he said, but the sloka itself gave no numbers. At the end of his talk, I raised a query. The idea of the electron has evolved in modern physics. The word electron represented a unit of negative charge and it was introduced for the first time in the 1800s. Then subsequently, when the theory of quantum mechanics came, the word electron was retained, but now the electron was represented by a mathematical entity called the wave function. The quantum mechanical wave function representing the electron is neither a classical particle nor a classical wave. When quantum field theory came subsequently, the word electron was still retained, but it became a mode of excitation of the field. Thus, although this word electron has been used since the time Thomson measured the E by M ratio, the concept of electron has undergone radical change. The notion of electron may evolve further and it may even get eventually replaced. When that happens, what will happen to the Rig Veda Sloka that presumably gives the E by M ratio, will it have to be given up? So this is the problem in playing catch up with science. Some years ago, I met the head of an Indian group, which is very interested in proclaiming the greatness and knowledge of the Indian Vedic tradition for the modern times. I was introduced to the head as a monk, who is also an active research scientist presenting Vedic knowledge scientifically. To my surprise, he said, I am very glad that you are trying to show that what is in modern science is already in the Vedas. I replied to him, well, I am moving to give a new solution to the as yet unsolved quantum measurement problem in modern physics. The solution is compatible with Vedic concepts of matter. As and when my work succeeds, it will show that there is knowledge about matter which is in the Vedas but not yet in modern science and that this knowledge can help to develop the next phase of science. What are the details of this concept of matter and how are they being applied within modern science? One can ask, but this is an ongoing scientific work and so it is confidential, but in addition, it requires Adhikar to come to know this. Thank you. Mm -hmm.